Many Angelinos want to be discovered. Hi, I'm Mona Shake, and these are Mona's rants. But most people don't want to be discovered like this. It is still jarring that someone has my home address, someone has my name, someone has my social security number. Comedian Mona Shaikh says she recently became a victim of identity theft. Now she fears that stolen information could land in the wrong hands. It's not comforting for me to know that somebody's going to be like standing at my door with a knife because, you know, they didn't like my, you know, Kardashian joke. I don't know, you know, I don't know how people feel about this stuff. I mean, it's very much like Big Brother's watching, except in this case, uh, Big Brother is all of us. We've all heard of sites like Spokio and WhitePages.com that allow you to search for personal information. But new sites like FamilyTreeNow.com are now sprouting up, offering even more. They let users type in anyone's first and last names, state, and then... Possible relatives, possible locations where you've lived, possible phone numbers. Mona found all her family members. Under five seconds. And that was really disturbing. Cybersecurity expert Michael Oros says, believe it or not, the records are all legal to the public. Uh, it's legal because it's open source. All right, open source by definition is information that is either free or can be legally purchased. So here's where it gets really creepy. You can then take that information, plug it into other free sites, and then get all sorts of information about people, like their monthly mortgage. Mona took action and tried scrubbing her personal virtual information. I didn't give them permission to make this public, so why are they making it public? Family Tree Now did not respond to our request for comment, but they do have a bold warning on their site, warning people they cannot use the information to stalk anyone. So what can you do? Cybersecurity experts with the Los Angeles Police Department gave us these tips. Buy property through a blind trust if you can, so your name isn't linked to where you live. Send mail to a box rental service that lets you use a street address over a P.O. box number give out a Google Voice number instead of your actual cell, and opt out of information gathering websites. That's what Mona did. She went on a site that allows you to opt out, and she discovered disappearing isn't so easy. A public page with her current home address, email, and cell instantly came up. I think if you're not Jason Bourne, you're gonna be found. It's like literally that simple. Oros agrees. He says you should try making personal information harder to find, but believes once anything exists online, it's there for good. If someone wants to really dig deep into the internet, into the deep web, if you will, uh, they'll find it. Zorin Adamji, Fox 11 News. Experts recommend frequently checking information gathering websites to make sure your information stays off. For some, you also have to prove you've been a crime victim. They say keeping yourself off takes a lot of time and sometimes money to set up, but experts say that they've proven to keep you safer. We have a list on fox11.com on links to several information gathering websites and their opt-out links.